In this video, I am going to explain working principle of slotting machine. The main aim of the session, comprehensive understanding of the working principle of a slotting machine, its components and their functions. What are the instructional objectives? The session is designed to explain the working principle of a slotting machine, including its basic operations, to familiarize participants with the various components of a slotting machine and their functions. The learning outcomes. At the end of the session, you should be able to understand the working principle of slotting machine and its importance in metal working processes. Perform basic, basic slotting operations such as groove, keyways, slot, gear teeth using proper techniques and tool selection. What are the main components of slotting machine? Now look at this uh, uh, diagram of the slotting machine. Now we'll see that what are the main components of the slotting machine. So the first one that is uh, the base. The first one is the base. Now let me uh, take the laser portion for easy understanding. So this is the base portion and the second one is the column. So this entire this portion is a column so which is mounted on the base and this column is incorporated at the driving mechanisms and the third one is the saddle. Now you can see that the saddle on the top of the saddle so this device is mounted uh, which is used for supporting the table that cross slide. You see that uh, on the saddle top you can uh, provide the cross slide. So the slide is uh, moving in this direction. Okay, that is uh, um, away from this uh, column or uh, is moving in this direction. Okay. Now you can carries. You can see that five carries, uh, uh, fifth one that that is mounted on the top of the cross slide, which is used to support the work table. Now let us see that uh, rotating table. The sixth one is the circular uh, the rotating table where the main uh, the work pieces are mounted on the table with the help of the uh, vice or uh, T slots with clamps, uh, different uh, the clamping arrangements you can use to fix the work pieces. Seventh one is the tool at where the tool is mounted uh, on this at. And eighth one is the ram. The ram is having the reciprocating motion, it's moving up and down. And nine is a RAM driving mechanism. We are providing the RAM driving mechanism already in the last video where the shaping mission I explained um, the, how the RAM is moving, uh, what a mechanism is incorporated in the shaper. The same mechanism is incorporated in the slotting mission also. That is the Whitworth quick return motion mechanism or crank and slot lever mechanism, which is used to uh, give the different speeds of the stroke of the ram where forward stroke is gives uh, moves uh, slowly and return stroke moves fastly in order to minimize the ideal stroke time finally overall it leads to the minimum cutting time is uh, necessary to complete particular uh, the job Tenth is the feed mechanism so whenever you are applying the automatic feed then you can engage this feed mechanism so these are the basic uh, the 10 parts of uh, slotting machine. The working principle of slotting machine. A slotting machine is a specialized tool used in machining processes to create slots, grooves and other similar features on a workpiece. Now it uh, operates based on the principles of rotary motion and linear motion. Here is a breakdown of the working principle of uh, slotting machine. That is the uh, first one is the structure. A typical slotting machine consists of a base or bed that provides support and stability. A vertical column is mounted on the base which houses a reciprocating ram or slider. The ram moves vertically and carries the cutting tool. So the motor and drive mechanism. The slotting machine is powered by an electric motor that drives the main crankshaft. The crankshaft converts the rotary motion of the motor into the linear motion of the Ram. Cutting tool. The cutting tool known as a slotted tool or slotting cutter is mounted on the lower end of the ram. It is a single point cutting tool with sharp edges designed especially for the slotting operations. The tool can be adjusted vertically to accommodate different depths and widths of slots. Next, workpiece clamping. The workpiece which can be 
metal component or any other material is securely clamped on the table of the slotting machine, the table can be swelled for angular cuts or positioned at different heights. So the operation, when the machine is started, the motor drives the crankshaft which imparts reciprocating motion to the ram through the, the withward kirkirithin mechanism and the ram moves up and down in a vertical direction. So the cutting process, as the ram moves downward, the cutting tool advances into workpiece material, removing the material and creating a slot or groove. The cutting tool is held stationary while the workpiece is moved horizontally on the table to cut longer slots or multiple slots. So the return stroke, after completing the cutting stroke, the ram returns to its initial position through the action of the crank shaft and this return stroke is typically faster than the cutting stroke. So feed mechanism, the slotting machine may also have a feed mechanism to control the rate at which the workpiece advances during the cutting process. This mechanism allows for precise control over the depth and speed of the slotting operation. So the coolant system to prevent overheating and uh, maintain cutting efficiency, slotting machines often have a coolant system. The coolant such as oil or water based fluids is applied to the cutting zone to lubricate the tool and flush away the chips and heat. So these are the basic uh, the working principle of starting mission. Just I want to show the 3D model of how that uh, starting mission is uh, taking place. Uh, that I want to see that uh, one minute. So yeah, the, I think this uh, link is used to show that video that will be shown in the next uh, session. Okay, thank you.